Hi girls, so we're doing a makeup tutorial today and I don't have a tripod so come with me. I'm gonna put this on the table. It looks like this, but actually never mind. Mm, look at me, the lighting is so bad. So we're gonna see the toilet. Actually, people do it here, like the vlog makeup tutorials. They're all like in the toilet. And we have this light, so it's even better. So I'm taking this and I'll put it in the bathroom. I have zero spatial awareness, by the way. Like I hit myself with everything around me. If you're my friend, everyone that goes out with me, they notice that I hit myself with like random objects, with doors, with door frames, with people. Oh my god, some birds came into my room. Hey birdies. <laughs> so cute. I went downstairs to get the beauty blenders because I forgot them. Next step is Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Mirroring 2.1. I'll link everything that I wear on my face in the description. With like three dots always. But this concealer is so good, it doesn't crease. I have two foundations. I always wear the Too Faced one born this way. But lately I'm experimenting with this one by Catrice and it's been working so good for me. This is very cheap and this is more expensive. This one... <gasps> I missed my hijab. It's okay. I can even say that it's been working better than the expensive ones. Like the price doesn't really matter when it comes to foundations because they all do the same. Expensive doesn't necessarily mean good and cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad. This concealer from Catrice is also really really nice. I use it to conceal some of the parts after I did my foundation and I see that there's like some parts that need extra coverage. It's so good, like it's creamy, it doesn't crease and it stays like all day. Like this brand, it's my first makeup brand I went for when I was a teenager because it was the cheapest that there was. I could afford back then and since then I kept buying it because when something is good it's good regardless of the price even if I can afford like better things now I still go for the same things I used to go for okay now that I finished putting foundation on my face I go for this easy bake by Huda Beauty I just go over the parts that I want to stay in place here Here's where I shine the most. Next step for me is the eyes. I use mascara. I don't like to curl my lashes because I curl them with my hands. This mascara from Anastasia, it's really nice. It's making my lashes extra long. I don't know if you're seeing it, but it's actually really, really nice. The thing that takes me the most time in my makeup is the eyes. I do this. I kind of like to do this motion and start from the top. I don't start from the root. I don't like to make it too heavy from the start. I go slowly like this. Okay, this is the first step of the eyelashes because we have steps, okay? I let it dry. The second step is to get any volume mascara. Like, it doesn't have a brand has to be like, like that. And we go like that. You're gonna get like super long lashes when you do this. And what I like to do is like, whoop, I think I did it too much. I move them to the sides. I go in every direction. This step, the mascara step is the most important one. I don't like to talk. I like to be super focused when I'm, with my family or with my friends and I'm doing my makeup when I reach this step I'm like don't talk to me I'm gonna do my eyes Shh. and they know that they shouldn't mess with me in this step like I cannot talk I cannot do anything <laughs> also a thing that I really like about lashes I don't like to do them like everywhere like like that I like to have my lashes go to us to the sides it gives like an eye lift mm, effect try to do them sideways not upwards now i'm moving to this other eye 
you know your lashes are going to be really good when you do a mess up there we go back to the Anastasia one we're gonna go over the tips the tips of the eyelashes we're not going to start all the way from the bottom just the tips by the way guys I forgot to put some foundation here because I have some marks sometimes when I get my period I get marks on my neck a tiny pimple it's not anything weird it's not a hickey it's not mm, anything my skin is very sensitive like sometimes I touch it like this um, it gets super red and when I post a story or something some of you respond to me saying Fatima do you have a hickey? no I don't I don't and if I did I wouldn't post it but I don't I never have it don't worry <laughs> see look Look at my neck, it's already getting red. I'm gonna use this foam cleanser from New Nooks. Nooks. I really don't know how to pronounce these brands. Okay, now the next step is gonna be the eyeliner. This one from Catrice. I feel like eyeliners all do the same. Try to draw the line fast, like quickly, because when I do it slowly, it doesn't work for me. Try to do it very thin. We start by doing the line slowly until this part of the eye. The middle is this, the middle of my eye is this. I go here into the quarter of the eye. It can take you so long, it's okay. Sometimes I have a bad eyeliner day and I keep doing it and redoing it for like 15 times, literally no joke. And it's okay. As long as it looks nice, it doesn't matter how many times you did it. No one's gonna notice that you did it 15 times before you went out. <laughs> then I go like this. I do a tiny line on top of my eye eyelashes, but so tiny it's almost invisible. When I do it too thick, what I do is I use my hand, I use my finger, and I I do this. Like I remove the excess with my finger, my nail, whatever. When they look kind of nice, I leave them like that because the minute I start like messing with one and another, I ruin everything. So I think I should be grateful and I just keep it as it is. They look really good. I get my hands, my fingers, and I do this. I curl my own lashes. And there you go. I curl my lashes after I'm done with my makeup like this because I feel like they stay more. I get the beauty blender that I use to blend my makeup. Um, I go with the leftovers of the makeup over my eyelids. I don't like to put a lot of um, foundation here because it creases. And I also don't like to have this place like super wide. Okay, so the next step is this. It's a palette by Makeup Revolution London. It broke, it's really nice. I love this palette, it has really nice shades if you ignore the mess. So I use this color in the makeup palette. I use my finger, I get a tiny bit, only a tiny bit, I tap it here. Yes, I know there's something called brushes, but I never knew how to use brushes. I am not a makeup expert. You just tap it once like that and you just go over your eye. Make sure you leave like a line of white here. Do like um, a round thingy, round motion, and focus on the corner of your eye. With the leftover, like we have like almost nothing left. You go like that. It looks so nice. It looks like I know how to do my eyeshadow. No one will tell that I did it with my finger. Next step is getting a um, q-tip you put makeup remover and you remove whatever makeup you have on your eyebrows i use the anastasia gel i go over my eyebrows like this i have really crazy eyebrows so this one really works for me and it doesn't leave them like hard I used to use other eyebrow gels and they made my eyebrows super hard and it felt like I had something weird on my eyebrows and I didn't like the feeling. Now, after we do this step, okay, there's something I do with my eyebrows and I use my finger again and I go over it like that. I like them to be stuck to my face. My eyebrows are already full so I don't like to fill them, I don't like to look like... Mm. 
like I have really dark eyebrows. I have this Essence brow powder. I feel only where I have like empty spots. And that's it, like I don't draw my eyebrows. Here, I don't touch it because when you put dark, here it looks so weird it looks like you have too much sometimes what i do is i make my eyebrow a tiny bit longer like a tiny bit it looks bad when your eyeliner is super long and your eyebrow is like short i use the same palette from makeup revolution for my contour i use the shade here and what i do is i tap it over my cheekbone i i, I used to not know how to do it because I thought I had like a super round face mm, and like I don't have that snatched look but lately I've been experimenting and it looks really nice like you'll see what I do is this I put very little so it doesn't look like I, I have dirt on there do this because when you do that your actual cheekbones kind of show now we go with my favorite step the blush i don't know if this is a brand but this brand it's called the body collection it costs one euro and it has it's a blush that's also highlighter i have these two shades and oh my god you're gonna see what i mean do you see the top of the cheek and like here so I can shine and it looks so natural and now my second favorite step my lips again I use this palette and I use the one that broke for my lips a brush for the lips you overline only here like you can overline on top of your lip but when you come to the sides don't overline because your lips get weird they have a different weird shape overline here in the cupid um, bow it's also because i like the brats look and brats usually have like their lips more mm, they're big from the top and the bottom but they're like narrow if you don't mind doing it with an eyeshadow i recommend you to go for the nyx lip liner in the shade los angeles 2.1 it's so good and it actually stays all day. We don't overline the site. We only overline here. I get the any foundation. I put it there. I feel like this is too white. It gives you like a lip filler effect. Then after I do that, I try to go over my lips again because the line is a bit faded now the final step it's always in my bag it's the most important and final step like i could go without anything and only this like this is the most important step this kiko lip volume it does wonders for me it actually makes my lips look bigger And it shines, it's creamy, it's not a lip gloss that's like sticky and annoying. It's like the perfect lip gloss. And it also stinks a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And after we're done, of course, we fix our hijab. Okay, so this is the final look. I really enjoyed doing this makeup with you guys and with you girls. And I would love to see your makeup looks sent to me on Instagram. So I'm going to be checking my DMs. Send me if you recreate this look. I want to see it. And I want to see all the baddies. I want to see all the hijabi baddies and the non-hijabi baddies. Everyone is welcome on my Instagram. My Instagram is not for anyone specifically. It's for everyone. It's not for Muslims. It's not for non-Muslims. It's for every single person that's a girl. <laughs> every single person that's a girl. Okay. So yeah, uh, I would love to see you baddies with this makeup look. If you ever recreate it, send me your look. I would love to see it. I would love to just admire it. I love admiring girls. And yeah, we're done. We're done for the day. And we're going out. I'm going out today 
to see the world.